off to lunch now to mum and dad are treating Josh to um, lunch for his birthday. So we're going to one of his favourite places in Lobok, which is um, called Food and Fables. So it's been on the vlog a few times, um, so it's a little bit repetitive, but Josh loves it. So he's looking forward to his veggie curry. <laughs> beautiful baby new great dane her name is midnight so we just got back from the vet as you probably saw a little clip and um she had to have her leg drained and we're gonna have to watch her i think she's got some skin irritation um so there's a few things we have to do to get her back into good health but she's already she's ready already settling into the room um, and her new life here so this is our new part of the family so it's the next day and this is the big baby midnight um, so she is settling in really well she didn't want to go on the bed initially but now she just loves it and doesn't want to get off it she's such a beautiful girl like her temperament is just so lovely um, and also what's happening with the project at the moment is we are putting in the shelter um, and this is our feature piece so um, Josh and I really like having um, nature features this is the feature for our shelter and our bathtub at the moment so Thinking as well we might ham uh, hang a hammock off this I have a hammock going across here into this corner so we just so I think that'd look really nice yeah so we think just this this um, feature here of the tree log and then the oh, bar here and that view oh, is just going to be incredible. A bit of a late entry uh, today. Uh, today's been pretty full on, it's been flat out. Um, John has done a masterpiece out the back, so I'm going to show you that in a sec. Um, he's done really, really well out there. And we're getting the electrical room, um, the floor put in, um, and a few materials have come today. And so yeah, let's go have a look. I'm John. Yeah, pretty good. Happy with what you've done? All done now. <laughs> all done, yep. So uh, yeah, John's put all this in at the... John and Harry has. John and Harry. Ready for the roof to go on now? Yeah, just about to get the rafters measured. So we've gone with this, um, what's it called, Harry? Epple Epple. Epple Epple. Epple um, And it's a hardwood. So we're doing this as like a feature. Um, so we thought that'd look really nice. Also the uh, retaining wall here has nearly all been rendered. It's just the top bits now. We weren't too sure if we were gonna build up, but uh, now we've decided we're gonna keep it this size. So we're gonna do a nice finish on the top of them. 
Um, still got this dirt in here, so this has to be removed. And come along here. And this is the electrical room, so the boys have just just about finished doing the floor for this. So it's been nice to be able to keep all our tools and uh, some equipment in here, lots and lots of storage. And then you come around and we've got our staircase and I'm like really happy with this. This is just one of my favorite things about this building. So the staircase is coming around here. It's a high platform staircase because I was worried about snakes and stuff getting on on the, um, on the staircase. So come around here and then it's just a nice platform and then it'll just slowly go down and then curve around and then down to the reception. So you just get a really nice view from up here as well. Feels like you're in the treetops. Really cool. Oh look, there's Pillow. This cat thinks it's a bloody mountain lion or something. I don't know, but she's so active. Morning guys. Uh, so, We've added a uh, person to our morning walks now. Got midnight. She doesn't know how to walk properly with people. She tries to like barge you over. So we've got to get her used to it before she's fully grown because she's going to be a monster. Um, but uh, yeah, she's. I think she's really settling in here. Don't you think, Bridge? Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I'm going to take her for a walk, let her run around the back, enjoy. She's full of beans. She's had a really good sleep. So yeah, great way to start the day. Yeah, let's try that. Perfect. So Dad and I are working on another little side project. Not sure if you can guess what this is, um, but it's going to be a little perch for our cat pillow. So she's a bit scared from the new sister, her new dog. Um, so hopefully she'll have a little safe place she can retreat to. Once again, Bridget's at it again. She's built this, and um, it's really cool. She built it for the cat. So the cat and the dog have been a bit, how you going lately? So Bridget's made this spot for the cat to get up there. So this one is coming with us um, because we don't know how she'd go at home. She doesn't have a crate yet. Um, so she's actually pretty good in the car at the moment. She's got her harness on, so we'll see how she goes. So we've just dropped uh, Bridget's mum and dad off at the airport. They're gonna go and see uh, some family for six days. So it's just us three. Um, got midnight here, in the front here. I don't know how long I'll be able to have her in the front with me. She's gonna get massive. I don't know if you guys know, but she's a Great Dane. So they grow very, very big. So, <laughs> so eventually she's probably gonna have to be in the back. But, um, so we're going to go to a cafe now. Uh, Bridge is going to go do some grocery shopping. There's Harry there, painting the wall. It's looking good. And T-Boy's rendered the top of it. So that wall's gonna be finished now. Um, and we plan to have some big plants on the other side, so they'll grow up tall. Um, so there'll be a bit more privacy as well. There'll be ferns in front of the uh, wall as well. So it'll be all plants. You guys, uh, don't have many boys here today um, because there's been a big festival this whole week. So there's a couple boys, we've got Harry, uh, Ray, Luke, and T-Boy have come in today and uh, they want to do some work. So yeah, it's been a pretty quiet day, chilled out. Um, the boys just doing a bit of rendering, some painting as well. Um, so yeah, let's go check them out and see what they've got up to. Finally the boys can finish off the jip rocking. The electrician finished up the other day. Um, so apparently it's just really busy on this island. So yeah, the boys are putting in the last sheets now and then we can um, get ready for the plaster and then we can start painting and really start finishing off these two rooms. Um, 
And then, yeah. These steps have uh, been, um, already had dirt put inside them. So there's one here that hasn't had the pebbles on top, the rock. Uh, and that's going to have the rock and then the, um, the Rio bar on top. But, um, yeah, you can just see from out the side how deep <laughs> this. Also, we've done more of the front shelters as we showed you earlier. So you can kind of see where we've placed the sticks now um, and also the beams. So we're really looking forward to being able to get these shelters up because um, the rainy season is coming and the amount of rain that comes, it just really just makes it too wet on the balconies so once we get those up it'll be really great to just start catching a lot more water as well uh short week this week um also it's just me and bridge on site uh for the next six days so uh john and leah they've gone off to see some family in a different island so yeah, and the boys have a big fe uh, festival thing that's going to happen and um so we don't have a full crew uh, today we've only got uh, a few boys uh, they really wanted to work so I said you know you can have two two days this week and then um, then they'll have the rest of the time off to Monday it's been really hard for me to, to uh, get take video lately because I've been on the tools a lot um, as you'll see you know a lots changed in the last couple of days so yeah so just be patient I'll do the best I can <laughs> but yeah I've got to be my own cameraman and I've got to do work as well so um, anyway, let's go have a look. So the boys are just uh, digging this dirt and come down here and using the dirt for the staircase here. So just um, filling it in because uh, <laughs> the stairs are actually quite tall, uh, which I'll show you guys in a sec. But my idea is I wanted to do that because I want this to be an easy walk coming up from the bottom paddock. Um, if I was to do it, the stairs really steep, then it's just going to be a pain if you have to come from the top down to reception or the restaurant and then come back up and then down and then up. So you want it to be enjoyable to go down there. So that's why it's got a lot of height. So the boys have started to bring up the dirt from the bottom hill. Um, there's actually quite a bit that they've been able to bag, which is great. We've made a small little dent in this mountain of a hill we've got at the bottom, but um, we had a suggestion and a few other people, um, like quarries have said, just hold on to the dirt, So, which is what we're doing. Um, so I'm sure that we'll get rid of most of it. Um, so it's really handy just having it there. So we've hit wet season now, so we've had a bit of rain lately. It absolutely hammered down last night. You can see there's a big storm brewing now, again. So it seems to be really hot during the day and it starts building and building and building. And then at night, it just buckets down. So it's been good. The water tanks have been uh, topped up every day, every night, sorry. So can't complain. So we've got two of the other dividing walls um, put in now and the boys have just rendered them. So. All the dividing walls are up now. Um, we're also going to have uh, some sort of feature on the top of the walls as well because they are a little bit low. So we want to make them a bit higher than what they are now. Um, but we're still trying to think of uh, what we're going to do for that. The boy here, he's just um, fixing up the air conditioning pipe. So trying to blend it in better into the wall, which is a tricky job, but he's definitely the man to do it if anyone can do it. So this is the CLI we're using for the timber, for the coconut um, timber. This is what I've been working on for the last couple of days. Um, so we are putting a bagola roof along the whole back area here. Um, so yeah, it's just been a bit tricky trying to find brackets. Um, John's had to make his own brackets, like John's a, uh, a boil maker by trade, so that's been really handy. He's really good with a welder. So yeah, he's been making brackets, um, which I'll show you in a sec. There's a bracket that John's um, made. He's welded these up. So 
so it never stops with us. Um, it's actually the boys are having a few days off because of the fiesta here um, in Bahol. Um, so we actually said that we were going to get on to a lot of other things while the boys are off. We got a few here today. Um, but if you can guess what we're making, we are actually making a dog crate for this one because she's just not toilet trained at the moment. She's been having lots of accidents. So we thought this is the best way to be able to get her um, toilet trained and also have a little safe place for her to be able to um, hide out in and feel safe and it'll be easier for travel. And there's a lot of benefits to crate training. Um, so this is what we're doing on our day, <laughs> day off. Um, Josh, <laughs> Josh doesn't get much rest, um, but at least it'll be a lot easier with her managing her in the house. That's a good girl. 